Tools are only effective if you know how to use them. That's why we want to make sure we provide the resources our users need to use up content to their advantage. By learning how to best use our search tool, you will get the most out of your content discovery experience and eliminate the barriers to finding the stuff that matters most. Before you begin your search, it's helpful to think through your answers to some important questions. What is my goal for using the content from this topic? What specifically do I want to know about this topic? What about this topic do I not want to see in my results? Are there particular people, places, events, or other proper nouns that are closely associated with my topic? What are the buzzwords associated with my topic? Answering these questions will help you identify keywords and phrases that specifically describe what you're looking for in as exact terms as possible. Now you're ready to create your search query. When you create your up content account, you will immediately be prompted to create a topic. But if you want to create a new topic, you can access it by clicking the Create a New Topic button on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. Or, if you're using up content in Hootsuite, you can add a new topic by clicking the gear icon on the top navigation bar, clicking Manage Your Account, and then Create a Topic. In either case, you will be directed to our Query Builder. The Query Builder will help take the guesswork out of how to write your search phrases to ensure you get the best results. To build a query, you can enter keywords or phrases in three different boxes. For those of you who are more advanced in Boolean operators, you can enter your own query by clicking the link, Enter My Own Query. To utilize the Query Builder, start by entering in the keywords or phrases that you want to see in all of your results in the first box. Hit the Enter or Return key in between each phrase to add it to your search query. This allows you to drill down into what you specifically want to see in all of the content. For example, I want my results to include interesting content about content curation, so I've included that in my All section, so every result I will get should include something about content curation. Next, you have the option to add keywords and phrases that can focus your results around related themes. At least one of these keywords and phrases must appear in a piece of content to be included in your results. We find that utilizing this section can make the most powerful impact on the content you discover. In my search, I want to focus my results on the specific areas of content marketing, MarTech or marketing technology, and influence within the context of content curation. But not every term has to be in every single suggestion found. That would be really limiting, so instead, I've included them here in the Any section to focus on these topics within content curation. Finally, add any keywords or phrases that you don't want to see in your results. These could be commonly associated concepts, people, or ideas that could have come up in your results, but they aren't what you're looking for. In this example, I recognize that these keywords and phrases might bring up some results on email marketing, but for my purposes, I don't want to see anything regarding that so I've included that in my Not section. When you are finished typing in your search phrases, click Generate Query. You'll have a chance to complete a sanity check to make sure you've included everything you need or to add any additional queries by clicking on I'm also searching for. Once everything looks great, click I'm done. While your results are being found, give your topic a name and click I'm done, show me the content. If you ever want to edit the criteria for your search, you can click on the gear icon next to your topic in your navigation and make changes to your query. Keep in mind, this new criteria will only affect future results and not impact the content that has already been found. You can also delete a topic by clicking on the gear icon next to your name, scrolling down to find your topic, and clicking the X. If you are using up content for Hootsuite, you can edit your topic by clicking the gear icon, then manage your account and then the gear icon next to your desired topic. You can delete that topic by clicking the X. With a little time and effort, you can create a truly effective topic and discover more specific, more relevant, and more meaningful content to enjoy 